Many fans of modular synthesizers look at the pre-digital analog computers of the 1950s and 60s and assume they must have been inspiration for the first analog modular synthesizers created by Bob Moog and Don Buchla. However, that's not entirely true. For those unfamiliar with them, analog computers solve problems in real time by simulating physical objects with electronic modules. These general purpose modules are patched together and tweaked to get an idea of how a physical system might respond. Many of the components of analog computers do indeed have analogies in the modular synthesizer world. However, neither Bob Moog nor Don Buchler are known to cite analog computers as inspiration for their work. In an interview, Herb Deutsch said that Moog was inspired by an automated assembly plant nearby that used voltages to move hoists and such. And when asked how we arrived at the voltage-controlled approach, Buchla, who had backgrounds in music, engineering, and physics, replied, I don't know. I just did it. Instead, it was Alan R. Perlman who has a very direct connection with the analog computing world. As a co-founder of Nexus Research Laboratory in Canton, Massachusetts, he designed multipliers and amplifiers for military and space-grade analog computers. Perlman applied this technology to create the more stable circuits that ARP modular synthesizers were known for, especially compared with the Moog and Buchla models of the era. In a nod to his days at Nexus, exponential converter circuit components were even listed as items for sale in the early ARP 2500 catalogs.